Hello and welcome once again. Thank you for joining us on our weekly Sunday School lesson. We're on lesson number nine, and it is entitled Courage to Speak Truth. It's coming from 1 Kings, the 22nd chapter, starting at the 15th verse through the 28th verse. So, so glad you were able to join with us today. Hope you had a great week, and we have an exciting lesson for you. So it's buckle in, guys. Keep your ears open. Before we get started, though, I want to still remind you guys that we are still in this pandemic. So please be very safe. Use uh, social distancing six feet apart. Also, don't forget your mask when you go out. Continue to wash your hands and be safe as possible. And hopefully, we'll get out of this pandemic real soon. But if we don't, continue to be safe, all right? And also, too, I want to remind you guys that on Monday nights at 7 o'clock, come on back online, and we are having a Young Life a Bible study. And so I want you guys to come in. Come on, connect back with us. We're back at it. Mr. Lundy, uh, uh, Minister Gina, we have a great time. So it starts at 7 o'clock on Monday night. All right? So let's jump right into the lesson. It is entitled, once again, Courage to Speak truth. So we'll jump in and we'll start with what's it all about. All right. Hello, mama. Didn't make it home for work yet. Did she? Randy bust into the house and ran directly into his sister's uh, Rodina's room. Now, nah, what's wrong with you? Why are you so sweaty? And stuff like you ran all the way home from school. Because I did run all the way home, James. I needed to beat Mama home to the phone. Rodina threw the magazine she was reading to the side and sat up. You're in trouble. You're in trouble. I can't believe it, Mr. A student. Holier than thou got in trouble at school. What did you do? Randy sat on the edge of Rodina's bed. Remember the paper I wrote to win our new computer? Rodina nodded. Yes. Well, Randy continued. I didn't really write it. I copied it from a newspaper. Why did you do that? You could have easily written a paper good enough to win. I know Randy agreed, but I waited until the last minute and didn't have enough time, so I copied it. I didn't think anyone would notice. Odina sat next to, to Randy, but somebody did. Now what? Now they want to take our computer back and maybe even suspend me. That's why I wanted to get to the phone first. I didn't want Mama to find out. Randy, Rodina said compassionately, there's no way Mama's not going to find out. You should be the one to tell her. Is Rodina right? Should Randy, Randy tell his mother the truth and face the consequences? Isn't the result of telling the truth supposed to be positive? So now, we hear the story here, and we see Randy is in a dilemma. He doesn't know what to do. Should he tell the truth, or should he try to hide? What do you guys think? Hmm. Let's go back to the, the title of our lesson, Courage to Speak the Truth. First thing I want you guys to remember is that courage means that you have to overcome your fear. And God wants you and I. He wants us to always be honest. And guess what? Sometimes we're not honest. You know why? Because we are afraid. But I want you guys to know from this lesson right here as we read about Randy, even if you are afraid, you have to learn how to take responsibility. 
when you do things, da, 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 da. so if you're in school, you get in trouble, and then your mom or dad say, how was school today? The first thing you should do is tell them what happened. You know why? Because if you are afraid and lie, you may get away for a little while, but guess what? Eventually, they're going to find out. And you know what? They're going to be mad. They're not only going to be mad because you got in trouble, but they're going to be mad because you lied to them. So I want you guys to know and understand that you cannot let your fear cause you to lie. You cannot fool yourself and think, well, if I don't tell them what happened, then they won't find out. Or if I don't tell them, then I'll get away with it. No. Nine times out of ten, most of the time, you're going to get caught. So my advice to you is tell the truth. So if we look at the story, we see a lot of problems. We see a lot of things that Randy should not have done, first of all. First of all, he shouldn't have lied about writing the paper. That's another thing I want you guys to do and understand. To the best of your ability, always do the right thing beforehand. If you do the right thing beforehand, then the consequences of doing the wrong thing won't happen to you. Very simple. So when you're in school, be good and do your work. When you're at home, listen to your parents. Or when you're at your friend's house, listen to their parents. I want you guys to always do the right thing. But guess what? When you don't do the right thing, or when you make a mistake, always remember that I have to take responsibility what I do. Even as you guys are young, you might not be old like me, but if you start now, it'll be easy for you to speak the truth and have courage. So don't be afraid to speak the truth. Even when you mess up. Okay? Even when you, even when you mess up, don't lie and make it worse. So the reason why I know, the reason why we don't tell the truth even as adults, is because we are afraid. We let fear cause us to tell a lie. But don't do that, all right? Don't tell a lie, but have the courage to tell the truth, take responsibility, because in the end, it'll work out better when you speak the truth and take responsibility for what you have done. Now, when we look at our text in 1 Kings, we find that King Ahab, he wanted to fight and go to war. So he asked all of his prophets to uh, give him advice and tell him what to do. And guess what? All of his friends and his prophets told him, hey, King Ahab, if you want to go fight, go fight and you're going to win. But you know what? A lot of times, People want to do the wrong thing, but that's not the time to agree with you. You gotta have the courage. Tell them the truth. For instance, if some of your friends say, hey, let's go to the store, and I'm gonna take a piece of candy, and you take a piece of candy. You know what I'm saying? And we'll get away with it. Don't worry about it. That's just like what they did with King Ahab. King Ahab said, hey, I wanna to go to war. I wanna fight. But guess what? All of his friends said, hey, King Ahab, even though we think you're kind of doing the wrong thing, we're going to tell you that it's okay. You know what? They were all afraid. They were all afraid of King Ahab because if they told him the truth, uh, he would put him in jail. If they told him the truth, he may punish them. And you know what? Sometimes when you are speaking for God, and you're telling the truth, sometimes uh, people may try to get you. People may be mad at you. But guess what? You cannot be afraid. Don't ever be afraid to speak the truth. So if somebody came to you and said, hey, let's go to the store and let's take some potato chips, let's take some candy, or let's take this video game, we're not going to get caught. 
don't be afraid to tell them that you're not going to do that because that's not what God would want me to do. And you shouldn't do it either. So getting back to the, our Bible lesson, King Ahab talked to all of his prophets and they said, King Ahab, if you want to fight, go fight, you're going to win. So King Ahab was happy. But then he said, you know what? I'm going to call another prophet. And he called uh, Micaiah. He was a prophet as well. He was a prophet of God. And Ahab came to Micaiah and said, Micaiah, I'm going to go to war. What does God say about me going, fighting this war? Am I going to win? Let me know what God says about me going to fight the war. So Micaiah, he was a servant of God. He was a prophet of God. And as he talked to God, God told Micaiah, uh, Micaiah to tell King Ahab that if you go to fight in this battle, it's the wrong thing to do. And if you go and fight this battle, you know what? You're going to lose. Now, King Ahab asked all of his other prophets, and they said he was going to win because they were afraid. But the prophet of God, he told King Ahab, God said that if you go and fight, you are going to lose. What does that mean? That means that even though other people say the wrong thing, you have to have the courage to say what God says. Even if it means that your friends don't want to be friends with you anymore. Even if it means that certain things happen to you, you cannot be afraid to say what God wants you to say. Because if you say what God wants you to say, it's the right thing to say. And a lot of times, even as adults, we are afraid. When we see things going wrong, we are afraid to speak up. We are afraid to tell people, no, that's not what God wants us to do. So like when, even if you're in school and you see another kid that's bullying another kid, don't be afraid to speak up. Don't be afraid to tell that bully, leave that kid alone. You're not doing right. You should be friends with this other student. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid when you think other people may laugh at you because you are speaking for God. You're doing the right thing. So the main thing I want you guys to understand and know that even if everybody else is saying something that's different than what God says, then you got to forget everybody else. You still have to say what God said. So the prophet of God told King Ahab what God wanted him to say. So I want you guys to remember, first of all, that if something goes wrong, don't be afraid to tell the truth. But always speak the truth, even if you may have to suffer the consequences of something that you did that was wrong. Have courage. Don't be afraid. Because if you lie, you get in more trouble. And two, if God tells you to do something, if God tells you to give a message, if God tells you to tell someone to do the right thing, don't be afraid. Always listen to God. Always have courage. The Bible says that God didn't give us a spirit of fear, meaning that we should not be afraid to do the thing God wants us to do. So I want you guys to remember those things. Don't be afraid. Always speak truth. Always take responsibility. And always speak and say the things that God wants you to say. And watch God be right by your side and help you along. All right, so I'm going to end now. I hope you guys got a little bit and learned and heard some things that I said. If you want to, ask your parents to come back and watch it again. 
But I hope you remember to have the courage to speak the truth. All right? So until next week, we'll see you again. And God bless you. You guys be safe. All right, God bless you.